Hello and greetings everyone and welcome to another wonderful day of StarCraft 2, Heart of the Swarm, brought to you by Ascended, who has had a lot of alcohol, and this is his second cast of the evening. Apparently Purple's already left the game, we'll get there in just a second. We do have a Masters Level 2v2 for you tonight. Oh my god. In the bottom right hand corner from Clan, where's the Miller Lights? It's Miller Death. His ally from Clan Ascended Nation. One hell of a clan, people. Uh, if you're not in it, I don't know what you're missing out on. Top clan in the world. It's I'm OGS Prime, Blue Zerg. Their opponent's the only one still here. It's the Teal Terran, the fake hamster. And the ally that left the game and no longer matters is from Clan Para OP, who apparently isn't very OP. It's Clash Bash. So Teal gonna go ahead. Now he is a Masters level player, and he is trying to take command of both bases. I don't blame him. I would do the same exact godforsaken thing. Oh my god, this map is so old. Did it come back? I told you guys I have not played any 1v1s, but oh my god, this map is old as shit. Huge doorway, double base, rocks on both sides for thirds. No way. Is it really back? Do they really bring back the ruins of Tarsonis? You have no idea how excited I am right now. It might be drunk. It might be excited, but I, I feel excited. We got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 pool here from IMO GS Prime. For many of you, uh, if you don't know this, it's that would be Tezetia. Te Tezetia. Tezetia. That would be what it is. Technically speaking. We have a shit ton of racks going down. This is like... Oh, wait a second. Oh, that's Miller Death who just was forced to cancel. I did not realize that. I was like thinking, why are you building a all over here? Oh, it's a ninja rax. Ooh, can't see him by a milli inch. Is there a such thing as a milli inch? Yeah, that'd be a thousand of an inch, right? Alright, Lings are in. They're going after the base that no longer exists, but is being microed by our Masters level player. And hasn't lost any probes yet, surprisingly enough. That one's gone back. Two down. Trying to micro as long as she can. And she has not gone any further. She is just continuing to spam wings here. Hey, the more probes she can get, the better. Oh, there are four weak ones, Tazitia! Get back over here! Kill the weak ones, they have no shields! The ones chasing you have no shields! Holy schnozzle! Couple of marines randomly here and there. Guess this one's gonna get sniped, and it is. Oh my god, she let all those shield one gum come back. That is kind of painful. She had the ability to kill like four more, but you know, nevertheless, she did kill a whole bunch of workers. Let's look at the income tab. We got 10 for our dead Protoss player. We got 15 for our Master's old ally. On the other side, for the records, after the stutter step of Annihilating Lings is done, which is now done, um, Tazitia is in Diamond League, and Miller Death... Oh man, I'm gonna screw this one up. All right, see, cause I can't remember if you're like gold or bronze. So Miller Death is in silver. There you go, folks. We have silver diamond versus master nothing. So, oh my God, how the hell did he get a bunker up? This is about to get weird. Yeah, it's done. Oh Miller Death. Oh Miller Death. I'm not even gonna ask why you did that. Totally wasn't gonna happen. But you might actually save your command center. I'll be damned. This one marine gonna help out on that. Tech lad's still alive, surprisingly. So you have a little bit of vision in your opponent's face. Not exactly a whole ton, but you know, it's got a range or what? This uh, that looks like a six range vision. Mm -mm. A lot of marines run like hell. Rex going to the left. Smart move there. To Zedia, gonna go ahead and take a natural. The Marines and the Lynx split, so there's no way they're both going to die. Fake Hamster going to go straight at his opponent's base. And I'm not seeing a lot of offense. Eight more Lings on the way here from Tazitia. And we have one Ling out of... Or one Ling. One Marine out of Miller Death. That's probably not going to be enough. And she went ahead and canceled the natural. She knew she couldn't hold. And nope, no, no, no. Bad micro. And more bad micro. Uh-oh. This is going to be drones and SCVs and everything all in. Yep. You need everything at this point. Absolutely. No, 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 no. What is she doing? No, don't even bother trying to mic. Yeah, you got to just take this on. There's nothing else you can do. There are no 
offensive units left unless you count the queen. This is not going to be enough. This may be it. I'm OGS Prime in critical condition here. Could this be an example of where a master level player playing 1v1 or 2v1 can still win a game? And I'm OGS Prime has left the game. And so did Miller Dad. There you go. So that is a that's a prime example of why even if fake cancer props to you, sir, you beat an ascended nation player. But nevertheless, um, props to you, sir. I, I I approve of anyone who does not give up even if their ally leaves. One with a, a marine rush all in macro to his opponent's base, his ally's base to the best of his ability, did a pretty damn good job, especially getting cheesed, and made a win, made a win out of it. So well done again, fake hamster. And I'm OGS Prime, Miller Death, not bad. Good try, and next time, right? Hope you guys enjoyed, and as usual, catch you later.